Thanksgiving is over and I still have some more holiday recipes. Today I'm making sweet potato pie. There are not a lot of ingredients to create the sweet potato pie. Just watch the full video so you can learn how to make your own homemade sweet potato pie. First I'm going to start off with making the pie dough or the pie crust. The ingredients that I'll be using are butter, all-purpose flour, salt, and some cold water. Add all of your ingredients into your food processor. We're adding in our flour, salt, and half of our butter. Let's add the top to our food processor and we're going to pulse a few times to break the butter down into smaller pieces. After pulsing a few times, then add the remaining portion of your butter. This will help to start forming your dough. Pour in a little bit of water and continue to pulse your ingredients. As you can see, the dough is starting to form. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. As you continue to pulse, you can see the dough getting thicker in the food processor. On your work surface, pour out your dough and shape it into a ball. After shaping your dough into a ball, then you want to cut it in half. Wrap each half separately. You can use saran wrap or you can place them in a Ziploc bag and place them into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Now that our dough is in the refrigerator, let's start working on our pie filling. You want to start off by boiling four sweet potatoes for about 30 minutes. Or if you want to bake them in the oven, you want to bake them for about an hour on 350 degrees. After the sweet potatoes are finished cooking, let them cool down. Then remove the skin from the sweet potatoes and cut off each end of the sweet potato because we don't need them. And if your sweet potato contains any dark marks, go ahead and scoop it out with a spoon and your sweet potato is still good. The next thing we're going to do is grab our mixer and blend up our sweet potatoes. We're not going to put any other ingredients in with our sweet potatoes until we move any stringy hairs or strands that are on our sweet potatoes. As you can see, this sweet potato doesn't contain a lot of little stringy hairs, but it does contain some. So I'm gonna continue mixing until I get a little bit more hairs out of these sweet potatoes. Next, let's add in our butter, cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg with a little bit of salt and mix in these ingredients. Now let's add our brown sugar, 
our white sugar and a little bit of milk and combine these ingredients. We have pretty much combined all of our ingredients except our eggs. So let's go ahead and taste test now before we add the eggs in. So now I'm gonna add in a little bit more sugar because once I sample, the taste is not quite there yet. But after I add in the sugar, it should be fine. Let's sample once more with a clean spoon to make sure that our filling is delicious and filled with lots of flavors. Then crack your egg open one by one and add them into your filling. Combine them until all of your eggs have been blended in with the rest of your ingredients. Lastly, add your pie filling to your homemade pie crust and smooth it out so it looks nice and neat. Then place your pie in your preheated oven on 350 degrees for an hour. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit your notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Wait, 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 let's be more realistic. Just share my channel with at least one or two people. Bye.